Alright, hi everyone. This is Amanda from the Bank of North Dakota and we're at Legacy High School today with Melinda Thornton, one of these school counselors here at Legacy. Um, today is Legacy High School's College Application Month event um, where they are submitting college applications. So College Application Month is part of a national initiative um, led by the American Council of Education in Washington, D.C. called the American College Application Campaign. Every state in the, in the Union participates as well as Washington, D.C. So North College Application Month is North Dakota's branch of, of that campaign. And the goal of it is to encourage more students to apply to college and pursue any kind of credential, whether it's a bachelor's degree, associate's degree, certificate program, or you know, exploring some career options as well. So um, make sure you know turn on your live notifications and like Andy to make sure that you keep up to date with everything that we have going on here. Um, so, Melinda, can you tell me a little bit about College Application Month and why you wanted your students to participate here at Legacy? Our big purpose in participating was mainly just one obvious reason is that the fee is waived for applications, which is nice for students um, because it's an expensive year for our seniors. Um, but we also find that it's just kind of a nudge to get them making some decisions and getting the process moving earlier. Mm -hmm. So it's been really a school-wide supported event and, and it's our second year and we've been really, really happy with it and we're glad that we're able to participate. Great. Um, so one nice thing about College Application Month is that every school plans their own event so they can really structure it to be, um, you know, how it fits their school culture, your senior, the size of your senior class. Tell me a little bit about how it's structured here at Legacy High School. Well, one of the benefits that we have at Legacy is that we have, uh, we're a one-to-one -one school, so all of the students have Chromebooks. So we haven't had to structure it around a computer lab, which has been very beneficial for us. So we just have three locations in the school that the students, according to their last name, report to during the day. Um, we have a flex mod schedule, which is nice because students um, often have some breaks during the day. Um, so they're able to not miss class as well. Um, so they come in when they do not have class and they're able to get signed up. Uh, we met with the students this fall in groups and we let them know that this event was coming up so that if they were, um, some of them last year we found had applied to a school right before this happened and they said, oh I wish we would have known. So we met with them this fall when school started and we let them know the date and what was happening, how to prepare. We gave them a sheet to fill out so they knew which information to bring and we basically just got, got it going this fall. And additionally, our senior teachers have been very helpful in getting the word out to students and reminding them and sending them down during the day today as well. So it's kind of been a school-wide effort. Good. That is wonderful to hear. I love when I hear, you know, how um, you, you've been preparing your students over the course of the entire fall. Because, I mean, this is a really, really great event for students to really get started. Um, in addition to what you just mentioned, what other kinds of things do you do to help your students uh, prepare for life after high school as far as planning for college or career or, or whatever? We have been very lucky um, because with our schedule, we're able to meet with students in groups every quarter throughout high school. So starting their freshman year, we're already starting to talk about career exploration and helping them narrow their focus. Um, we have our career advisor that meets with them. Um, we have career forums the students can participate in through high school and job shadows. Again, just to give them experience so they can narrow their focus. And we. Um, Especially starting junior year when they can do the job shadows, we really just keep nudging them along to just explore and to be aware. Um, so those are some of the things that we do. We meet with them every quarter all the way through high school. So That's wonderful. And do you feel that uh, when students are, are in their senior, kind of in their final sprint, do you feel like you know they have a really good idea about what they want to do, at least where they want to go? Initially. Sometimes yes and sometimes no and some of that's developmental and we always try to let the students know that if they're not sure that that's okay too. Our goal is to just really have them immerse themselves in activities so that they can narrow their focus so that they have somewhat of an idea. Um, but there's a lot of pressure that comes on kids at this year when they see their peers making decisions and they think, oh, I should know and I should have an idea. So we just try to help them where they're at and move them forward. Awesome, that is wonderful. Um, so we have a ton of um, schools participating this year. We have about 120 sites participating all around the state. Um, so for, for those sites, that's about three quarters of the schools in North Dakota. 
So for those sites who aren't participating this year or haven't quite come on board yet, what advice or encouragement would you give to them um, to participate in College Application Month? Our first year, we had a little bit of anxiety because we hadn't done it before, um, but we just were so pleased with it, and I would just encourage all schools to take advantage. Um, there's really no downside to it. Um, the students, parents really appreciate it, um, and many students, that, especially if they're first generation to go to college, just getting onto the application sites, websites, and applying can be very overwhelming, so having someone to walk them through um, might give them a push and some confidence to actually apply in addition to having the financial support of the waiver. Um, so I would just encourage all, all schools to jump on board and maybe contact a school in your, your area that's done it before um, for ideas or suggestions. Um, but I honestly don't see any downside to participating. It's been a really great event for our school. And you said speaking of support, having um, folks coming in and helping. Uh, looking around the room, um, this is just one of the three rooms that Legacy has going on simultaneously. And I'm seeing volunteers from NDSU and the University of Maine and let's see, some local counselors, a whole bunch of people. So these students here are going ahead and submitting their college applications, raising their hand, raising their hands, sorry, my screen is flipped, every single time that they have a question um, so somebody can come around and help them. So perfect. Well, thank you, Melinda. I really appreciate yes. you um, thank coming you on. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you bet. I'm so happy to be here. I was here last year and it was a really good event. Um, so. Again, next week, next Tuesday, we will be live at our regular scheduled time at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. Make sure you like us, turn on those live notifications. And just a reminder, since it's FAFSA season, if you have any questions about FAFSA, um, every Wednesday at 7 o'clock we do a financial aid information night. So now through, um, I think about Thanksgiving is when we do that. So yeah, log on and we'll see you live. Thanks everyone.